hello everyone so in this video I will make another battery the battery which I will make in this video will be some zinc bromide battery the zinc bromide battery is really interesting battery chemistry because this type of battery you can find in many shapes for example the company called red flow make some commercial available zinc bromide flow batteries so this type of battery is some flow type battery then we have some company called Gelan. The Gelan company makes some zinc bromide gel batteries. And these type of batteries don't have this flow cell design like by Red Flow company. Because the Gelan zinc bromide gel battery is some gelled form of zinc bromide battery. And then we have also many 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 zinc bromide cell designs which are in research stage right now. So like I said before we know many shapes of zinc bromide batteries. So we have some float cell design, some static cell design, gelat cell design, gravity design, H cell design and so on. But here in this video I will make some zinc bromide battery with some bridge. So in basic what this means that that I will make this kind of battery I will use two containers like this one. And on these two containers I will use the same electrolyte. The electrolyte will be some zinc bromide electrolyte. And a little bit of supporting electrolyte will be some zinc sulfate. So, right now, on these two containers, I have the same electrolyte. I use one mole of zinc bromide electrolyte and two mole of zinc sulfate for the supporting electrolyte. And this kind of electrolyte I have on each container. So, in one container, I will put the positive electrode. The positive electrode will be made from graphite plate and for increasing the surface area of this positive electrode I will use some carbon felt. Okay, this will be the positive electrode. And here I have some zinc for the negative electrode. And now these two containers I will connect with some bridge, some salt bridge. And for the bridge I will use just normal toilet paper, which I will soak into this electrolyte, like so. Like so, and now I will connect this battery to my power supply. And now I will charge this battery a little bit, and then I will see what I will get. Okay, this zinc bromide battery with this salt bridge is charging. 
here is the positive side of the cell here I insert this carbon felt for the positive electrode and you can see clearly some forming of bromide and you can see that the bromide is holded in this container here this one is the negative side of the cell and here is created the zinc the zinc is electroplated directly on this zinc electrode this kind of cell also creates some zinc dendrites but with this salt bridge cell design the creation of zinc dendrites is not the problem but this cell also have some problems because uh, the charging voltage which I need to charge this cell is 10 volts but if I increase the conductivity of this salt bridge the charging voltage will be much much lower also if I increase the contact area of this salt bridge in this case I will also decrease the charging voltage okay now I will disconnect this cell from my power supply and I will connect some load. The load will be some LED. Because this zinc bromide uh, battery produces 1.8 volts, so the cell don't have any problems to light up this LED. But actually this cell design with this salt bridge can be also used with some zinc iodine chemistry or some zinc manganese chemistry. Some bromide which is formed here on positive side and let's see over here. Here we have some plated zinc. You can see here some zinc on the negative side. And here I have some zinc manganese battery with this salt bridge. So the concept of this construction is the same like by zinc bromide battery. So when I charge this cell, I mean right now I charge this zinc manganese cell, uh, here on the positive side is formed some manganese dioxide. And this can be seen by this brownish color. The manganese dioxide in many cases is in brownish color and here on the negative side is formed some zinc so here this section you can see some nice forming of zinc i will disconnect this cell, this cell from my power supply and again i will connect this uh, lid So that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.